And we want to start with some new updates on the fire in downtown Buffalo that killed firefighter Jason Arno back in March. It was just this month that Erie County District Attorney John Flynn announced no criminal charges would be filed in that fire. That's despite workers on the Main Street building using blow torches to clear ice and snow from the brick they were working on outside the building. Flynn also told us the structure had no sprinkler system, no fire alarms, and that exterior work was being done without permits. And today we were given the report on the fire put together by the ATF. And joining us now to talk more about it is Two On Your Side's Andy Payton. So, Andy, what did you learn about the fire reading this report? Well, Mary Alice, according to the 61-page report here obtained by Two On Your Side just a few hours ago, it contains the full findings leading up to the timeline there, giving us a more clearer picture now on the events that led to Jason Arno's death. And according to this report, which also contains surveillance photos that we're going to show you now, it all began when crews with JP Contracting were working on the Main Street building and replaced a steel door with one made out of plywood. During their masonry work, contractors used a torch and leaf blower in an attempt to melt snow and ice off the surrounding area and tried to use a shovel to shield the wood from the door there, but instead it actually caused the fire to burn behind the door. And once a worker noticed that it was smoking, it was too late. He tried to throw water on the fire and remove the plywood, which then re revealed a fire that was quite enraged, as you can see there. And how did uh, the investigation come to this conclusion ultimately? Well, Mary Alice, that, that's the other part of this, right? So investigators in this investigation spoke with more than a dozen witnesses, employees with the contracting company there that were hired, but were unable to speak with a worker who you just saw on their surveillance images who actually made the initial 911 call due to their attorney making them unavailable for comment, leaving investigators really to rely here more heavily on employees, witnesses, and video surveillance. And now, Mary Alice, we're actually we're going to have a more full report on this tonight at 11 when we take a deeper vibe and we invite our viewers to join us for that as well. So frustrating because so many people watch the fire unfold and it was just such a mystery of after all the details started to come out how there could be no charges but I imagine in that lengthy report there are some answers. Absolutely yeah yeah. Alrighty we'll look forward to your report later. Thank you Andy.